Revet comrade TFCom here. Uh, it snowed last night, which is awesome. I'm sorry. I'm trying to eat at the same time. Uh, I'm on my lunch break. But it snowed, which is awesome. I mean, it was like... Really? <laughs> um, but it's already melted now, unfortunately. But all I know is when I went to work around... I opened, so I was here at like 745 but it was a little before that that I saw it. Um, around then, it was there was still snow out there. Um, all over the church parking lot and everything else, it was really cool. It wasn't like really deep or anything, but for Texas, any snow is a huge deal, you know? It was really cool. Um, you know, by now it's melted, unfortunately, but it was, you know, like, whoa. <laughs> Because it really wasn't that cold. It was only like 30-something. Whatever. <laughs> it was still really fun. I wish I could have gone and played in it or something. It is running around a church parking lot. Just like, hello! <laughs> no, um... I had some lady uh, try to bless me today. Uh, you know, because she says, you know, like, uh, since I had to work on a Sunday, you know, I need to be blessed so that I can still go to heaven or something. I was like, okay, thank you, ma'am. Bless you, too. <laughs> I was just like, okay, whatever. <laughs> There's always those weird oddballs, but you get a kick out of it, I suppose. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm, like, distracted right now trying to eat something today. Ah. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. Um, so yeah, I have the day off. Almost. Almost off. I get off at 2, but my lunch break ends at 1.40. No. It ends at 1.20. So I'll have 40 minutes after that. And it's like... I don't know, my coworker said I shouldn't even come back. But I'm going to come back, obviously, because, you know, I don't want to get in trouble for not coming back, obviously. And also, 40 minutes is almost an hour. And an hour is $9. You know, like, it's adds up. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. I'm sorry, probably making you guys hungry over there. Uh. <laughs> okay, I was looking at my when I should um, when I should uh, change my oil. On here it says um, either on the 18th or a few miles. I don't know. <laughs> But, um, it's getting, uh, Tyler's getting safer on the roads. Uh, I don't know, if, yeah, you guys, when I was almost in that wreck, I think I told you guys about that. I think I was filming during that, wasn't I? I don't know, basically, there was some guy came out of nowhere. He, uh, turned right on red, and there's a big sign that says no right on red. He turned right on red, and was slammed into my side. I ended up having to swerve into another lane. There was a car behind me, honks, and I had to, like, swerve, you know, really fa It was... A very dangerous situation there. But uh, now cops are all over that place. Apparently a cop got hit too. Probably the same way. And uh, and then apparently someone got hit and died over near the Starbucks. Which is not too far from that. The same road. Um, and then some kid got hit at... Well, I say kid. I. It's so weird to say kid because, you know, we're adults. It just... It, it's weird, you know, the teen, the twenty-something years, you know. Um, he may have been older than that. I just assumed twenty-something because I probably shouldn't assume that. You know, college students can be older than that. But they did say his parents were there. I don't know. But uh, he got hit at this campus. Um, he was a pedestrian, from what I hear. Uh, my assumption was he tried to do that crosswalk. Our school is a crosswalk that is really stupid. It's, no one ever really stops at it. They're getting better this year. I hadn't seen anyone try to run it this year. Though this year I didn't walk any, really, so I didn't pay too much attention to it. Other than that, you know, that week or so I didn't have my car. But, um, yeah, and there's no sidewalks, you know. <laughs> As I think I mentioned in one of my things, so he may have been walking down the side of the road. I don't know. But all I know is it was at night, and he got hit, and he's in the hospital right now. Uh... Not sure how that's gonna go. I uh, just know that, that you know the um, the dean emailed everyone, you know, letting us know what was going on. 
saying there's going to be some changes with the driving rules and there's going to be crosswalks and they're going to add new stuff. I don't know when that's going to happen, but sure, I'll be glad to figure that out, you know? Hope well, the dude's okay. <laughs> Never good to be in a hospital situation. I've been in it too many times. <laughs> it's weird for me to be up this early and not be in class or something. Actually, no. It's weird for me to be up this early in general. Well, Thursdays, my classes do start at 12. But yeah, it's just like, why am I up? <laughs> why am I awake? You know? <laughs> it's weird. I opened today. Like, I had to be here, like, before the sun was up. <laughs> That's like, no. But now I feel like I have the whole day to do whatever the fuck I want, and I don't even know what I'm going to do. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Comic-Con is here in Tyler, but it's $15 today. And I really don't want to go because my roommates are working, and I don't want to run into them. <laughs> yeah, you know. Plus, I don't, it's kind of weird to go alone, don't you think? I mean, I know I'd love to go one year, but I, I feel like it's not that good. I mean, it's Tyler. But people are saying it's amazing, but have they ever been to, like, you know, A-Fest like that? You know, what are they comparing it to? Is it just a generalized, better than a comic book store type thing? Or, you know... Huh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I don't know, um, I may look at Spirit of Halloween. I've never been. Well, I went once when I was little. I'm not even sure how old I was. It's back when I still saw my dad every once in a while, so... 14 at oldest? It was a long time ago, that's for sure. And I remember peeing my pants, being scared to death, shaking, and he's like... <laughs> and he's just like laughing like go hug the dog go hug the dog you know as the doll was walking or like a zombie crawling on the floor like oh my gosh I was terrified but I was like so so sad there I got it it's kind of like tr mentally traumatized me not like in a bad like you know like semi big traumatized this but more of like I'm kind of iffy about going in <laughs> and I'm just like I knew it's not scary now to me but I'm still like uh <laughs> I always worry about strobe lights, too, or flashing, or anything like that, or fog, fog machines that make my asthma act up really bad. And as you can tell, it's already kind of stuffed up today. It's just from the winter. Uh, so I'm kind of iffy about that, but I don't know. Stores usually have a section where that is, and it's not like the whole store having the thing. Some Spencers are horrible about that. They have um, the flashing lights throughout the entire store and it's oh man it was bad when I first started working at the Spencers here I actually talked to them saying that you know I'd love to work here anything else here's my credentials da 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 the only thing is that I have epilepsy I can't have the flashing light and they turned it off they kept it off the entire time I worked there um I think they have one on now but it's a little bit slower so still you know it's a little something if I could look if I look directly at it I probably would have issues but it's enough that I can walk through the store now at least and it's kind of off and on. Like, sometimes it'll be on, sometimes it's not. So, you know, I'm, they're really nice about accommodating me for that. But I'm just like, you know, I, kinda, I can't control the fact that I have seizures, you know. <laughs> as much as I love to work here. Yeah. <laughs> and that was really good about them. Um, I miss that place. They actually came to me offering me um, a job. Well, it was more of I was talking to someone who worked there. And, um, and she mentioned that, you know, they're hiring seasonal workers. And I, you know, I would think about it, but my only thing would be that, um, I think I'd make the same as I do now, if not a little less, and, um, it would only be seasonal, which means coming January I wouldn't have a job. You know, the hope is that I get my career before then, but a lot of people don't find their career for a few months after they graduate, so I, you know, want to have... Dollar General to fall back on, or somewhere, you know, where I would keep for a while. I figure I'm already here, only a few more months, you know? I'm hoping that I pass 
school, you know? If I don't pass school, then I guess I'll be here for longer than a few more months. Uh, in that case, I really wouldn't have wanted to give up the job, you know? It's weird that you can actually see my face because it's morning. <laughs> Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I just bear it. Um, I don't know. Uh, I can give you some little insights to my cosplay. I always start planning them a year before. A little less than a year before. I, I start planning them in October. The October before. Because um, that's when all the really good costume pieces come out. The makeup and everything else. So it's very good to you know stock up on that. For cosplays and stuff. Uh, I'm going to be testing some colors, figure out which ones are good, and maybe post pictures of that. But, you know, I want to test a little bit about it from before I buy, like, a huge jug of it or something like that. But, um, I have two cosplays for sure that I'm going to try to work on this year. They will be very difficult cosplays, so... Will I get them done? I don't know. I will try. Um, I'm going to be Jutin Loki, or Jutin Loki, for the people who pronounce it that way. I don't know why the movie pronounces it with Jutton or Juton or whatever they pronounce the movie. It, it's it's Juton. Juton. Do you guys not speak Norwegian? Probably not, but it, it's it's Juton. <laughs> but whatever. <laughs> I'm going to be that, you know, the blue skin and everything else. And I'm going to have to find the red contacts. So that'll be fun. Spirit might actually have that. I didn't think about that. I didn't even think about the red contacts. I kind of... Oops. I'm going to work on that. Um... And I need something for horns, you know. I may have to make them, and I really hope I don't, because I'm not good at making things. But, you know, um, I'm kind of going to try to go for more for, like, a native look, you know. Um, with the furs and stuff, and not really, like, movie Loki. More of the mythology Loki. This, mm. You know, all the furs and the, uh, well, mythology Loki is kind of his chest beard. I can't really do that, but more of, like, you know, I'll do, like, a cross or something like that to cover it. <laughs> Maybe I'll have a surgery by then. I, I highly doubt that. But, you know. I'm going to try for that. And, um... The mythology Loki has a long, long braid down his back. Like, almost to his butt, I think. So, I'll try that. <laughs> if not, I'll just get regular Loki hair, you know. But, that'd be really cool to get that long. Probably be really heavy and hot. But, you know. Um... And then my other one I'm working on is a human version of Bill Cipher from Gravity Falls. Uh, I got my top hat already. I got some gold makeup. I'm going to try to get, like, the triangle or something like that. We'll see how that looks. If it doesn't look good, I'll just make a triangle eye patch. You know, that works too. Um, and then I'm working someone on the suit. I'm doing more of a... Um, you probably find it online if you search human Bill Cipher. The kind of, like, weird, like... Um, brick type of uh, vest and stuff like that and coat I don't know what I'm going to do for that I may never find I may have to do it on my own I really hope not <laughs> that sounds very difficult you know or if I could at least find a yellow one and then maybe I can um, draw on it with marker or something like that <laughs> it sounds so <laughs> so sophisticated I'm going to draw on it with marker <laughs> but you know <laughs> it's easier than sewing it that's for sure I'm um, definitely really looking forward to the Loki one. Um, I've wanted to do body paint for a long time. Um, about two years ago, I tried to go as um, Uten Loki disguised as um, as Gabriel. Because, you know, if you watch Supernatural, Gabriel goes by the name Loki. And so, rightfully assume, Loki goes by the name Gabriel. And they, like, kind of switch to hide. Um... So it was kind of a cute little thing I was going to have. I had the blue paint, you know, and that. I used blue makeup instead of the actual paint. So it was very... A lot of eyeshadow. <laughs> a lot of eyeshadows and designs. It looked pretty good. It just wasn't very bright, you know, because eyeshadow. Um, I ended up not doing it and then just kind of cleaning it off and just going as Gabriel. But um, it was still... Uh, it was it was pretty cool. Um, I have some pictures of that still on my Facebook, honestly. <laughs> You know. uh, some of you have started friending me on Facebook, and it's like, oh, okay. <laughs> now, I have no, no issue with it, just don't be creepy about it. Um, don't be like, I know exactly where you are at all times. That's a little... <laughs> I haven't had anyone like that yet, but, you know. 
you get some weird people. I had someone message me saying they were going to have my babies. It's like, I, I don't, they said, I love your channel. I'm going to, I'm going to have your babies. And it's like, I don't think you really watch my channel because then you would know that A, I'm infertile and B, I'm trans. So I don't make any sperm to begin with. <laughs> so infertile as a woman and as a man. So good luck there. <laughs> Good luck with that. <laughs> that's all. That's about the only weird one I've gotten. And I just, you know, blocked them. No big deal. But stuff, stuff, stuff. <laughs> I've had a few people who say they met me from through there. And it's like, oh, okay. Only about two or three or so. But uh, there's one person that said she loved my channel. And I'm just like, how did, how did you find me on Facebook? And it turned out we had a common friend. So that wasn't as creepy. But I was still like, okay. <laughs> And she, she realized that it sounded creepy, too. And she's like, oh my gosh, I'm sorry. Um, huh. Oof. Oof. So, I guess I'm going to have some fun. I really need to schedule my wisdom teeth appointment. You know, get them removed. But um, I was supposed to be looking at prices from other places. I haven't called anyone. I don't know. Maybe I could. Uh, maybe I could go inside and talk to them. They may... They make me, maybe we can do an appointment through them, you know, to make sure that they were really right and to, or get a second opinion or I don't know. I kind of don't want to do that because they may make me do that. And they may, some of them may make me pay for an appointment to get it looked at before they actually do something. So, But I knew my insurance expires uh, in December, the end of December, like the last day of December, um, probably. I told you that about my dad. I'm like, I'm not sure. Um, and then I knew if I get my name changed before then, which... Obviously, the goal is to have it done in time for graduation. And I think the absolute last day I could submit a name change would be the 1st of December. It was supposed to be, well, October 2nd was all of our information had to be due to turn in to graduate. So as it is, it's going to be really, really hard to get my name changed. Might be too late, but I'm going to try. Um, I mean... It's gonna be really close, guys. I, it's still not done, and it's it's basically November. Gonna be really cutting it close. Um, and we, as far as I know, still haven't even submitted it to the court yet, and that could take a few weeks. And yeah, basically, I, I do think it's gonna get done in time. Um, I was really worried that it wouldn't get done, but I guess it's not going to. I think we started this process in September. Maybe in the beginning of October, but it's, uh, 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 you know, not not, good, not not looking good there. But um, I don't blame the lawyer for that. It's just kind of annoying because I'll be like, we're going to court. And then I don't hear anything. And then just like, oh, we're not going to court. Oh, thanks. Or I was like, we're going to court definitely on Friday. And I'm like, cool. And then Friday comes along, and I'm just like, okay, where do I need to meet you? And he's like, oh, we're not going today. And it's like, <laughs> good thing I didn't drive over yet, you know? Uh, it's, yeah, I'm sure there's stuff going on with him, too. It's just really, really frustrating. I think any lawyer is frustrating. But it's like, you know, I want, I want my name done, you know? <laughs> my name and gender are pretty important. I've already had a lot of issues um, getting basic stuff here. Um, I've had places refuse to serve me alcohol because my ID has, says female on it. Not that they thought it was fake, they're just discriminating. They say, oh yeah, we think it's fake, but all it's, but you know, they're, they're just discriminating against it, I'm sure. Because even the picture is like me, you know, you can tell, you can tell it's me, so it's obviously something like that. Um, it's my twin sister at, at most, you know? Like, I don't think I could have faked it that bad. <laughs> I think I would have met, you know, put the right gender, but... Uh, I've had that issue. I've had someone refuse to unlock my car before. I, you know, I locked my keys in my car and I called a tow company, da da da. And they said, I'm sorry, but the car is under Rebecca's name, and so Rebecca has to be here. And I tried, tried claiming I was Rebecca, you know. They would not believe me. Um, finally got them to unlock it, and I just said, um, uh, Rebecca's at work, you know, da da da. Uh, but I really need to go pick, I need to go pick her up. And they're like, okay, okay, we can do it for that. I just next time know that. And I'm like, okay, okay. So, <laughs> I'm Rebecca's boyfriend or brother or something. I don't know. <laughs> you know, whatever. Um, you know, I've had people look at me weird when I buy alcohol in the store. They're just like, oh, look at it. And they're like, 
And I'm like, oh, I, I donate to Locks of Love. And they're like, oh, okay, okay. And I'm just like, I don't want to, like, say that and be, you know, I don't want to, like, claim I'm donating when I'm not that good of a person, I guess. But, I don't know, it's just, it's like, because uh, I, I do have longer hair in the picture, but um, not too much longer. It's probably about right here. But, you know, it's, it's a little, I've already had a lot of issues with that, both gender and the name. Uh, I've been denied uh, use to the men's room. I think only about twice now. Once, officially, like, where they tell me you cannot go in there. And another time was more of someone's like, hey, you're in the wrong bathroom, you know. And I just kind of ignored them and walked in. I've had some people be like, whoa, well, the, the females is over here, and I just keep walking. I, you know, I try to ignore it. Um, I don't usually get it very often. Uh, I pass pretty well. When I first started off, everyone's like, okay, little sweet. <laughs> It was more like I passed as a man, but I looked like ten. <laughs> so if I if they knew I was working, they, then they were like, "Okay, you're obviously a woman. Then you're just a manly woman." So I think that's what it was. I just didn't look old enough to be on my own. So I looked like a man, but I looked like a little boy, like not like a man, you know, a boy. And <laughs> and so I think that's why they went to female, because even though my voice was low and everything else, I looked really young, so they're like, okay, you must just be a manly woman, because they wouldn't let a little ten-year-old by themselves, you know? And then as they started growing facial hair and stuff, I still got called ma'am a lot, which was interesting. I mean, there is a PCOS, I think is what it's called, where women can grow facial hair, but I mean, it's little things where I'm just like, really? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I had an awesome customer, though, a little while ago. A little while ago. About a week or so ago. Um, basically, Carlton, uh, my assistant manager, is, a, is horrible. I told you, he doesn't work, he doesn't do anything, he's mean, he's hateful, you know, the usual. Well, um, if he's working with me, when a customer calls me, he, he'll correct them, correct them, and say, that's actually a woman, which makes me so mad, because I've talked to him about that, and he's like, I don't care. Um, so this one sweet, sweet old lady, she's a really old lady, uh, I say really old, she's, you know, using cane, nothing like that. She's barely moving around, you know, pure white hair. She could be only 80, I don't know. Uh, she just looked a lot older than that. Um, well, he, you know, he corrected her and said, ma'am. And she looked at him and said, oh, I'm sorry, ma'am. And, and she's like, I wasn't talking to you. I was, I was talking to this mister over here. And I just like, oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> thank you. And he, he got pissed off. He was like, Dr -dr -dr -dr. like, you know, for the, like the next, like the whole rest of the week, he was just like, you're the one that's a girl. Why do I keep getting called girl? And I'm just like, <laughs> it's a sweet old lady. Uh, I don't know if she knew that she was helping or not, or she just thought he was making fun of me for some for being feminine, and she was helping. I don't know. Um, maybe she was really bad at eyesight and thought she he was a woman. I don't know. <laughs> I honestly doubt that because you know he has a beard and everything too. But um, thank you, old lady. I don't know who you are. I'm sorry for calling you old. You may be young and have a lot of health problems or something. I don't know. Um, I don't know, but thank you. <laughs> you really helped me feel good that day. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to get some eating in before my break's up. As you know. It is my lunch break. I probably need to be eating lunch. Um, <laughs> oh, some funny today. Um, I got hot coffee. Everyone else would be like, yeah, you get hot coffee hot. I absolutely despise hot coffee. And I don't really like iced coffee. I only like frappuccinos. And on rare occasions, I'll do ice, but only if there's no frappuccino option. And I'm really desperate. And I usually don't like them very much. But I don't like hot drinks in general. Hot chocolate, anything. No, I don't, I don't like it. I don't, I don't know why. It just, it burns my tongue and I don't like, I don't like it. You can't taste it. It's too hot. <laughs> It, you know, if you wait till it sits out for a long time, then sometimes it's okay. Um, but it's just, I don't like it. Um, well, today it was so cold, with the snow all over the place, that I was on my way to get my frappuccino, and I was like, you know what? Change it to a hot one. I was like, what? And, um, you know, for the season, I had to try the pumpkin spice latte. Uh, that's kind of gross. <laughs> I'm sorry, that may be an unpopular opinion there, but it was, ugh. As a frappuccino, it's not too bad, but maybe it's just because I don't like hot drinks, but I was like, ugh. But, I warmed up to it, I guess. <laughs> warmed up. 
you know, as it cools down, it started tasting okay. Uh, I think I just, I just don't like hot drinks. I don't know what it is about it. It just, uh, and it wasn't hot enough to burn my tongue or anything. Like, it didn't seem hot at all. I almost seemed like they didn't heat it up at all. But again, it was like 30 degrees at most. So, you know, odds are, um, it was just really cold outside. So it felt a lot. It felt like it was really not hot. I don't know. I got a hot drink though. Woo. Still, I never finished it. <laughs> I threw it away a few minutes ago. I had about a fourth of it left in there. I don't, I don't like hot drinks, guys. I don't, I don't know why. I just, uh, I made uh, hot chocolate last night. Peppermint hot chocolate. I got it at Walmart. It's it doesn't have enough peppermint. It tastes kind of eh, bland. It tastes really bland, which I was like, what? <laughs> and you know, and I added more, more in in there than it said to. And, you know, didn't even add as much water. Like, I'd, I'd made sure it was a lot of powder. And it still was really bland to me. I don't know. But it sounded really good. Uh, maybe it is good. Maybe I just don't... Maybe I'm not good at mixing things. I don't know. Um, I thought it was okay. I had, like, a buttload of marshmallows, too. Maybe that made it more bland. I don't... You know, it took away this flavor or something. But... It's only, like, two-something at Walmart. Nah. They have a, one for K-Cup, which... Um, it was probably stronger because K Cup and it's a natural brand. It's not Walmart brand, but oh my gosh, it's twelve dollars, and I'm like, I don't love anything enough to pay twelve dollars for it. No, <laughs> I don't even pay that much for my shirts. You know, like no. Jeez, I think my pants, the pants I love to death with all the holes in them and everything. I think they were only like ten. Like I don't pay that much for anything. No. <laughs> I find ironic the most expensive thing I ever get is my medicine. <laughs> like I spend more money on testosterone than I do on anything else. Maybe food, but um, I really do. Like, I mean, with my I like this little coupon thing, uh, and with that, it's um, about forty-five dollars for six months. So it's a pretty good deal, you know. I think without that, it's like 120. So it's a big, it's a big chunk off, but um, it's you know if you separate it by six months, it's it's really really cheap. It just seems like a lot up front, you know. And then you have to buy needles, but they're ten cents each. I think they're, I think they're less than that now. Maybe. I think when I bought ten, it was only like thirty three cents. So they're really really cheap now. Maybe it's like a deal because I bought a lot of them. I don't know. They're really cheap now, and there is more expensive ones, which I got, I've gotten before, and they always, always have issues. The more expensive ones always have issues to me. Cheap old ones work great. I tried getting ones that were supposed to hurt less. Uh, they weren't, they weren't sharp enough to go through my skin, so it hurt more because it was a blunt one that I stab in, you know. Uh, I got ones that were extra sharp, and it made me bleed like crazy because I guess it stabbed too hard, and, um... I've gotten ones that have, like, a child safety thing on them, the really expensive ones. Uh, and it broke off in my leg, as I told you about. So, it's not very child safe. <laughs> um, yeah, so, I, I just do it for the cheap, cheap ones, you know, cheap Walgreen ones. Um, they have a bigger, bigger needle, so people say that's more painful to put it in. Because it is really a big needle. And it is a pretty big needle, but, um, compared to the others... But, you know, it's easier for drawing testosterone out of the bottle, um, which is very, very thick. If you ever had testosterone, it's so hard to to take anything out of it. It's like, it's literally uh, like a gel, almost, that you have to, like, pull through a needle. Very difficult, and it's a greasy, oily mess if you mess up anyway. So, even after I put it in my, put it in my leg, it starts, you know, coming out a little bit, and you have to, like, pat it, back, pat, 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 so, you know, so your leg's getting all greasy, and so you get acne right in that spot. I've got an acne there, and it's like, uh... For whatever reason, I can't do it on my right leg. I can only do it on my left leg, on my thigh, you know? So maybe the muscle's thicker on my left. Maybe, I mean, maybe the muscle's thicker on my right. Maybe it's because I'm right-handed, so I can't really stab it in my uh, right leg at the good angle enough to get it through. I don't know. It just hurts like crazy when I try to do that leg. So it's like, okay, I keep doing the same spot, which is really bad. They said to do thigh, thigh, hip, hip, thigh, thigh, hip. Like, you know, do a cycle so you don't use the same one. You only use it uh, once every other month, that spot, you know. I haven't done any of the hips. I've done, like, maybe twice since I've been on it for a year. 
I'm really bad about that, and I've only been doing one thigh for the past four or five months, and you know, twice a month. So I'm not doing very good on that, but I'm trying to work on that. Trying is the key word here. And I can't really do the hips by myself. I've tried maneuvering for the me or anything else, but it's just really, I can't see very well to do it. And I know the last time I was doing, I was laying on the floor with the floor mirror, you know, trying to get it to work. And it was, it was embarrassing. My roommate had came home and it had been like, that was back when I lived with, um, I was before Jay. I don't remember his name. I was with this guy. I don't remember his name at all. He was the one who just randomly up and left with those rats and uh, Remy and everything else. And I took them in. No idea what his name was. I don't know why I don't remember. Maybe I hated him so much it blocked out. Maybe he was because he was never home, ever. Like, you know, he was always out somewhere. And when he was home, he kind of locked himself in the room. Like, he did not like people whatsoever. But, I mean, I'm a shy person, too, though. So I was like, you know, okay, okay, you know. It's fine by me, fine by me. He's a very strange person, very strange. And he just up and left all his animals. So I don't know what that was about, you know. But now I have a cat, and... Well, I still have his rat. I think I do. No, no, his rat died. The female died, unfortunately. But uh, his males are still alive. Uh, my friend took them in and she loves them to, loves them to death. Uh, Izzy, or Jasper now. Um, you know, loves them to death, loves them to death. But, so I'm glad, I'm glad they got to go home because, oh my gosh, she was never feeding them. They were very violent when you know, they got it because they were snapping and biting everyone because they were starving to death, you know? They'd never been played with their entire life. They were literally stuck in a box, no toys, no anything. It, it was a really bad situation for them. But, um, my video is about to time out. I don't know why my phone only lets me do it for 33 minutes or so. But, I gotta go. So, TFCom, signing off. Bye.